everyone, this is Abhilash back here again from Selenium Express and in this tutorial, I'm going to cover where the string objects are created in the memory. So whenever you create a string object, what's happened in the memory and how many objects are created? So it's a very, very confusing topic, but I promise you, I will make it really simple. Okay, we're not going to talk about in depth over here, but I'll just give you an overview. I'll just give you how the things are happening okay so we can follow that in our coming tutorial so first let's understand the basics so i, I told you in the previous tutorial that we can create a object in string by using two different ways isn't it first one is by using the new keyword and the second one is by using the uh, double code all right so in this uh, scenario, let's, let's uh, first talk about this one uh, by using the new keyword, okay? So the same example I've taken, I have, I have uh, created a string called uh, Selenium Express and I stored it inside the S1 reference. So now let's see what happens to the memory, okay? Again, I'm not going very deep into the memory, okay? I'm not going to talk about, you know, what, what, what the other things which is happening inside the memory. So I'm just going to talk about it in perspective of string okay so let's talk about it uh, let's let's say i have this is my memory all right so in my memory there is a heap area there is a heap area and there is a string constant pool it's a pool of constants all right so whenever we create an object by using new keyword okay we are just going to see right now what happens behind the scene all right okay so first tell me what is the selenium express this is a constant right it's a constant so whenever you're trying to create your object jpm is going to first create an object inside your string constant pool okay the selenium express is a constant right so uh, jpm is going to create an object over here inside the string constant pool called selenium express okay like this Selenium Express is a pretty big name. I'm sorry about that. Um, Express. Okay, so the a, an object is going to create it inside the string constant pool first. Okay, because it's a constant. It's just just remember, it's a constant. That means it's going to string constant pool. All right, very simple. And the, another thing you need to remember over here that the next thing the game is going to do. It is going to create an another object. Why? Because you're trying to create an object by using the new keyword. So you are using new keyword. That means you are creating the object in the runtime. Object creation happens in the runtime, right? So whenever some runtime operation is happening, okay, something is happening in runtime. That means JBM is also going to create an object in the heap memory and another object with the same content. Okay, my content is Selenium Express, right? So write Selenium Express again. Okay, so now you can see two different objects has been created. Uh, first, JBM will create an object inside the string constant pool with the same content, Selenium Express. Again, it's going to create an another object inside the heap area with the same content, right? Selenium Express, all right? So what we understand from here is that whenever we use new keyword in Java to create a string, JVM is actually going to create two different objects for you. All right. Uh, but one thing I want to tell you, because I forgot to tell you this thing, whenever string objects are created, right, is stored in form of indexes. You know that indexes uh, starts from zero, right? For an example, uh, this Selenium Express object is created over here inside the heap area. So it's going to store like index. S will be inside zero, U will be inside one, C will be inside two, U will be inside three, and like that, all right? So string stores the literals based on indexes, all right? All right, so now what is happening? Uh, we're creating an object by using the new keyword. So JVM is first creating an object inside the string constraint pool, and it's also creating an object inside the heap area because we are using new keyword to create an object. So now the most important thing that you need to understand from this tutorial, because, because this is a summary, this is the point that you need to remember that whenever you create object by using the new keyword, 
the H1 reference is going to point to hip memory. Okay, the object which has been created inside the hip memory, th this S1 will point to this, not to the object inside the string constraint pool. So, so new keyword means uh, your object reference will point to the hip memory. Okay, so now we'll talk about what happens when you create a string by using double cot. All right, so let's talk about it. All right, so now let's talk about it another way. All right, so what happens if I create a string object? I'm sorry, uh, if I create a string object by using, uh, you know, double cot. All right, I told you there are two different ways to create a string. One is by using new keyword, one is by using double cot. So whenever we are creating it by using new keyword, two objects are getting created. One is in the heap memory, one is in the str string constant pool, all right? But what about wh when we do it by using double quote, all right? So let's talk about it, okay? So again, I am going to take a space. So let's say this is my memory, all right? So I, I, I'll just do one thing. I'll just uh, make it a heap memory. And this is my string constant pool, which stores the constants. Again, I'm telling that string constant pool stores the constant keep stores the operation which happens in the runtime all right just to make it simple okay uh, all right so now just just tell me what i'm doing over here okay i'm creating an object by using double code and double codes are what these are constants right these are constants these are literals all right so it's a constant means first jbm will create an object inside the string constant pool, all right? So my content is Selenium Express. So let me write it over here, Selenium Express. All right, so JBM already created an object inside the string constant pool, but is it going to create an object inside the heap area? And the answer is absolutely not. Why? Because am I doing any not runtime operations? I told you, right? Heap means performing I know is going to store everything which is meant for runtime all right the things which is happening in runtime so am I using any new keyword no right so there is no chance of creating an object in the runtime all right am I doing any operations like concat or any other things no right simply I'm defining it so no runtime operation so no object will be created inside the heap area and this s1 is going to point to this object which is inside the string constant pool. It's very, very, very important to understand. Okay, so whenever I'm creating a string object by using the double code, uh, you know, the object is getting created, I'm storing it inside the S1 reference, and this S1 is pointing to the object which is there inside the string constant pool. You have to remember that. Okay, so this is it. But what if, if I create an, another object like this? string let's say s2 equal to again the same object selenium express now what is going to be happen this content this content both are set selenium express selenium express so what is going to be happen right now is jvm is going to create an another object over here or the object is coming over here to this heap memory if you want to know this answer, then watch the next tutorial. So, see you there.